Welcome to Primary Learning with Prats. Today we are doing Unit 4.9 Writing Skill Standard 2 Bal Bharti Page 63. But before we begin, a special shout out to our dear subscribers who have not only watched our videos but liked, commented and stayed in touch with us and they are Esther Peter, Sangeeta Gupta and Sanket Ravindra Patil. Thank you so much for your lovely comments and for the appreciation that you have shown for our videos. Thank you so much. Now today, let's begin with our Unit 4.9 Writing Skill. The first question we can see is, choose your favorite story character and draw it in the box given below. So you can choose any of your favorite character. It can be a cartoon character, a storybook character or even a textbook character. Any favorite story character and draw it in the box below. Story character means you can take it from even a cartoons because cartoons are also stories. So if your teacher allows, you can use even from there. The next question here is question A. Write at least five sentences about it in your notebook. So now how do we get five sentences? Let's see. Now for any story character or for any composition, writing five sentences is always easy. So like for this story character, we will start with first line will be, which is your favorite story character? So you can write if you choose somebody like Dronacharya, suppose from our unity strength, uh, from our what do you see? So you can say Dronacharya is my favorite story character. Now where does it appear or which story it is from? It appears in the book of Mahabharat. It is in the story what do you see or it is in the story Arjun and Dronacharya. Two sentences on why it is your favorite story character. So anything you can mention, things like looks, special features or talents for somebody like if you choose to write about somebody like Bhim or somebody, you have your Chota Bhim cartoon series or if you choose to write about Doraemon or anybody else, you can write what are, how they look like Doraemon is blue in color or special features, talents, Doraemon is a robot, he has many different gadgets or if you choose to write about Chota Bhim, you can write what special things he does and or what you could also write is things like what you can learn from it. We learn to be honest from them or we learn to take the help of our friends from them and why you like it so much. I like it so much because Doraemon has lovely gadgets or Doraemon has so many different gadgets. So in this way you will have one sentence here, two sentences here and two more sentences on why. So which, where, why cover your four sentences. Sentence number one, sentence number two and sentence number three and four. And for the fifth sentence you can always end your small little composition with I love, say suppose I am saying Chota Bhim. So, I love Chota Bhim very much. But if I choose somebody like Dronacharya, I would write, I admire Dronacharya very much. Or somebody like for Dronacharya, you will say, Dronacharya will always be my favorite character. Or you could also write, Doraemon will always be my favorite character. Chota Bhim will always be my favorite character. So, you can choose to write either one of these sentences to end your composition. So you have the start of your composition, the introduction, then you have where, then you have why, and then you have the closing sentence of your composition. In this way, you complete a five sentence composition. Our next question is question B. Write five to seven sentences about your classroom. First, note some points. So, they have given us some points which we can make sentences out of. And they have given us five points. So, we already have five sentences ready. Things in your classroom. Number of doors and windows. Number of tables and desks or benches. Number of students. Number of charts in your classroom. So, if we follow this and how we just saw how to write a composition, 
so we, we can start with the intro of which standard you are where is your classroom and you can end with i love my classroom very much so first sentence intro then these five points and last i love my classroom very much and you have a seven sentence composition ready so let's begin so as intro you could start with i study in the second standard my classroom is on the first floor or you can write my classroom is on the ground floor second floor some introduction about your classroom then according to the points that they have given us so things in your classroom there are many things in my classroom windows and doors there are four windows and two doors in my classroom then let's talk about the teacher's table also so we will say there is a table and a chair for the teacher there are 20 desks and 20 benches in my classroom there are 40 students in my class if you have more you can write more or you can simply write there are many students in my class if you don't know how many students are there in your class there are many charts in my classroom now we have already finished with the points they gave us then you can add some more sentences or you can use a combination of these sentences i always keep my classroom clean there is a projector and a smart board in my class you can add some more information there is a cupboard to keep our books in my classroom and then conclusion I love my classroom very much. So in the same manner we can see introduction body of the composition and conclusion. And in this way you can easily write a 5 to 7 sentence composition. Now you can write either these sentences or you can use these sentences and add in your own elements like there are some things there are many things how many doors there are four doors five doors or five windows one door in my classroom table chair all these things you can shift it around use the combination of these sentences and make your own composition i hope this has helped you do like share subscribe and comment thank you so much do remember to like share subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on all of the latest videos please let us know in the comment section below what other lessons you would like us to make we would love to hear from you thank you for watching